Now, leaders from Uganda's leading opposition political parties have convened in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, to demand justice for the people that were shot dead during the presidential campaigns between November 18th and 20th in 2020, right here in Kampala. His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, is present. Uh, retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Besije of the FDC is also present. Former presidential candidate, retired General Mugisha Muntu from Ant is also present. Uh, the former leader of opposition, that is uh, Right Honorable Winnie Kiza, and uh, the current leader of opposition, Right Honorable Mathas Mbuga, they are also present. And uh, the NUP Party Secretary General, David Luis Rubongoya, is also present. The spokesperson and uh, the deputy spokesperson of NUP, that is uh, Honorable Joel Senyonyi and uh, Alex Waiswa Mufumbiro, they are also present among other people. Now, Bobby Wine, in his own words, we are in Kenya at the Uganda Human Rights Accountability Conference to demand justice for the 100 plus people shot dead on dictator Museveni's orders during presidential campaigns between 18th and 20th November 2020 and for the many survivors that have since been abducted. I thank the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights for standing with us at a time when our own Human Rights Commission cannot. Well, there you go. Uh, that is a statement coming in from uh, His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP right here in Uganda. Now, in other news, other members of the Mohozi project from Bugisu sub-region have threatened to join His Excellency Bobby Wine's NUP camp if their grievances are not handled by General Mohozi Kainerugaba. Now, this group says recently they organized an event aimed at garnering more support for General Mohozi Kainerugaba in their region. But guess what? They were given only 13 million and yet the budget for the event was 48 million. Those people fooled us and uh, gave us peanuts. We put in a lot of money to hire tents, seats, public address systems and uh, catering service providers. You cannot give us such small money, yet you can afford to bribe Opondo to switch allegiance. Now, the group furthermore says they have not yet received their 20,000 and 50,000 transport refund that was supposed to be for fuel of each border rider who put on the Mohozi t-shirt that day. I strongly warn Balam and Gashumba that should they fail to refund our balas by the end of November, we shall quit and defect to NUP. I would rather support Bobby Wine for free than stay in Mohozi project with fools like Frank Gashumba. Hey, these guys are very tough now. <laughs> they are very tough now. And uh, I remember the other day I told you that the Mohozi project is already getting serious challenges even before we get closer to 2026. But anyway, we hope that they sort out these challenges before it is too late for them. That is it for now on uh, The Buzz UG and uh, subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo aka Fuller and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.